Hi, my name is Mike Mahan from SMA America's Solar Academy. In the tech tip today, we're going to review the communication setup between a sunny boy and a sunny island in an AC coupled grid tied battery backup system. In an AC coupled battery backup system, the Sunny Island continuously monitors the grid and can disconnect nearly instantaneously should the grid fail. At that point, the Sunny Island is providing power to the protected loads panel, and in an AC coupled system, so is the Sunny Boy. The communications between the two allows the Sunny Island to send commands to the Sunny Boy and to tell it to enter or exit backup mode. Having the ability for the Sunny Island to set backup mode on the Sunny Boy on ensures that PV production is always maximized on the Sunny Island's microgrid. First, let's look at the setup in the Sunny Island. The two COM SMA ports are pre-wired on the island, but we'll need these communication cables. We will also need an RS-45 piggyback card. So we've installed the piggyback card. Now we're using two wires in the Sunny Island. The white wire is the communication to the Sunny Boy inverter. The blue wire that we're showing actually goes out to a Sunny web box. It's not required for the communication between the two, but very useful for data logging. The white communications cable has been routed out through a cable gland in the bottom of the Sunny Island over to the Sunny Boy and landed on the two five and seven terminals below the piggyback card. Now, this is a standard RS-45 piggyback card that we've installed in the Sunny Boy, exactly the same card as the one we used in the Sunny Island. In a grid tied battery backup system with more than one Sunny Boy in Sunny Island, each Sunny Boy will require an RS-45 piggyback card, while only the master Sunny Island requires the piggyback card. If you're using a Sunny Boy TLUS with SPS, you'll have an RS-45 data module instead of the piggyback card, but each inverter will still require this module. If you're wiring multiple devices together on the RS-45 bus, it's critical to remember that the devices on each end of the bus must be terminated. With a terminating plug like this that's shipped with every Sunny Island, or a terminating jumper that's shipped with every Sunny Boy. The devices in the middle of the bus must not be terminated. This six foot white communication cable is shipped standard with every Sunny Island. That's it for the installation of the hardware inside our inverters. In our setup, we're using the Sunny web box, which is a valuable tool for data logging and essential for unlocking the power of the Sunny portal. It's also a handy way of logging into the inverter because you need to set backup parameter on in all the Sunny Boys. That's it for this tech tip. If you'd like to learn more about grid tied battery backup systems, please visit our website at sma-america.com. My name is Mike Mahan from SMA America's Solar Academy. Hope to see you again soon.